Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create charismatic split title in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, I have here in my comp this thank you at uh, two text layers and I want to animate this so P for position and I want it to be right here the final position and I want it to start from here select these keyframes if nine to easy ease them so we have just something like this and then we're going to go to this hue and add CC splits so there's two versions of these and I will explain what's the difference. So the first one, if we change the value of split, it's splitting this text to two parts and move them. While the second version, it has split one and split two. So we have more control over each part here, which we're going to use. So. Let's reset this CC split to and make start of this animation. So going to add keyframes for all these properties. And then we wanted these points to be animating with these uh, text. So something like this to start with. And at the end, we want them to move as well because whenever, whatever uh, between these two points, it splits it. So when we preview this, nothing happened because the split values is at zero. So let's crank this up. And so something like this is happening. And maybe here, going to put this back like this. So let's prevent C. There is a little bit of delay of, there's no sync between the dots, uh, the splitting and these words. So if nine to easy ease these keyframes, and let's go to graph error and see what we can do. We're going to change the interpolation here. And basically we wanted the second um, the second dot to be late and go to here right there. So maybe the first one change the value here. Okay, just something like this. You just keep editing the values here until you get it sync. And then after a while, we want this to uh, get back like these two points. We want them to add keyframes right there. Maybe just going to move it right here. And then move this back just right there. And this time we don't want this bottom part to move a lot. So we need to put this at lower value here. Maybe a little bit. Okay, just like this. Let's preview this. Okay, and now we're going to create a new solid. Let's name this shape, make comp size, and the same color as this text. And we're going to create a mask right here. Just 
where it's going to be the other text. And hit M to reveal this mask property. And let's reveal this keyframe as well. So let's add the keyframe there. And move this. So let's actually make it bigger. Just like this, and we're going to move it just right here. You know, have to take it a little bit. Let's easy ease this, and also change interpolations here. Let's preview this. Maybe it's a little bit slow. Let's go here. Just adjust keyframes so we have something like this. Maybe here, like here, this part can edit this or changing the value. So Okay, it looked pretty cool. So now we're going to add the second text. Let's add text here for your time. Let's make it white and make it small. And let's position it right there. Maybe make it bigger a little bit. So we want to animate this text as well at P4 position. And we want it to start as well from this side at P. And then get to there to that position if nine and let's add sit mat to this and choose the shape and make sure select so effects and mask. So we're going to get something like this. And then we can start animating the shape again. So just hit U to reveal the keyframe here. Add another keyframe there. Maybe just for a while, put it right here. And then 10 frames, or let's add a few frames there. We want to animate this shape, so we want to make it bigger, like this, and move this like here. Let's animate the text with it. Just put that keyframe right here.
hint and put everything there. Okay, so this one need to be I need to split this. Another 10 frames and let's move this right here. And so for the other ones who are this one I'm going to trim them. right here let's preview and see how this is, looks like so maybe here we don't want it to I need to give them some nice interpolations. So we get something like this. The shape animation look cool. So now we're going to uh, add animation to this text here to go with it. So right there, move and then we want it to move away here. So let's change this interpolation here. Okay, this is look pretty cool. And so now we're going to change the color of this word. So just right here on this text we're going to add fill effects make the color of these and add keyframe there and just one frame we're going to change color to white so going to have something pretty cool like this and so going to add animation for this U at the beginning. So you can just add a solid, let's call this mask and add a mask here and put it above U and hit P for position. And then put this right here. It's easy as this and alpha and vert mat so we have something like this so this was the tutorial of today of our motion graphics tutorial series and i hope it was very useful for you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you for watching